Hey, Mom. Uh, hi, Mom. <laughs> hey, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. Hey, I'll tell you what, you know what, when you're fishing real weedy lakes, obviously what we're doing today, make sure, especially when it's gonna be super warm today, it's gonna almost hit 85, that you try pulling most of the weeds off your trailer right away. Obviously, when you leave the landing, all the weeds have to be off the trailer when you go back home. But what happens is these weeds will actually bake right on your trailer. So I always like to pull the weeds off right away. Hey, that's this week's tip of the week, of course, brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats in Tigerton, the finest jerky on the planet. Hey everybody, welcome back to our show this week. And I'll tell you what, we're always looking for something different and we've got our good friend Pete Huff with us today. Hey Pete, how's it going, man? Real good. You know what, it's one thing I love about you, Pete, is that you are one of them guys that is always finding a different bite. And so today we're actually in Marquette County and you're on a great perch bite. And you're saying, I saw pictures the other day, Lots of nine to 11 and a half pinch perch, and they are thick. Yep, and we're fishing traditional ways with a cane pole is how I've been doing it. Woo, that yeah, sounds like yeah. fun. Yes, for a long time I haven't done that. So yeah, it's very fun. So hopefully we can all get some nice fish today, and it's been a pretty good bite. We got helger mites, uh, minnows, a little variety of stuff, and I think we'll, we'll probably get them. Yep. Hey, I'll tell you what, we got, guess who? We got superstars in the boat today. We've got 250 pound blind canary, Phil the blind guy. We got <laughs> Phil the blind guy with oh. us, and in back of us, we've got the Zoop Key and Randy Hurst from Leroy Meats. <laughs> hey, so we're gonna be definitely eating good today, but you know what? I could not leave home this morning without bringing my super buddy with me. And I got little stinker, he's hiding by the locators like he always does. <laughs> we're gonna start fishing. Hold on to your heinies. Hey, I'll tell you what, Pete, let's show everybody exactly what we're using and why we're using cane poles. Besides, cane poles are so much fun. And it kind of reminds me back of being a kid. Right. And I've got some of my old time cane poles today with me. But it's a great way because you can, fit, especially when you're fishing in a lot of weeds, you can just lift it right straight up yep. and you can hit the pockets real easy Set and it. clean it fast. Yep, exactly. You're not winding in, cranking out, throwing out, keeping your slack. You only got so much line to work with, so you got 13 feet here. Typically, I always do one foot longer on my line. Okay. Rule of thumb, one foot longer. That's a good, no, why is that? Um, just because if, it you're comes too right long, to you. if you're too long, you can't get the fish out of the water. If you're too short, well, then you're not fishing as far as you could be, so. So if you're using a 15 foot cane pole, you want to have 16, 16 feet, feet line. line, yes. Okay. Yep. All right, you guys, hang on to your heinies. I'm gonna get all the rods set up, get Phil ready to rock and roll, and let's catch them. Heck yeah. Punch. That, oh, that's a jandy. Oh, Pete. Nice. Oh, I just had one right here. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny. All of a sudden, you sit here for two, three, five minutes, nothing, and, and all of a sudden, through. boom, boom, it's game on. So, again, just them schools coming in. Bobber don't. Nice. Oh, that's a good one again. Color on that one. I love how dark these are. Randy, I don't think it's as big as the one that you just caught. Just changing. I was just changing colors on that Cobra. And uh, went with that pink and white, had it down there for, had that thing down there for maybe, maybe at least a minute and a half and boom, down. You know, when you can see these fish, we got the underwater camera down, you can see these fish cruising through, so you know you, you got to change the baits, you know, and that's, that is big. Pete, it was a good idea to bring that underwater camera, yes. otherwise I would think there, there's no fish here. Right. So yeah, again, what they want to eat. yep, changing up, keep changing. This is what I call perch fish. Right here, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Pete, this is what I love. Oh, that is an ace. Get him up. No, I switched you up a little bit. Yeah, I gave up on them bobbers. Yeah. Yeah, you guys ain't watching them. Got the big custom rods. All you guys all you guys that keep doing to me is telling me you got need bait, you need bait. Blind guys and bobbers don't work. Built for fishermen, built by fishermen. 
Um, really, that says it all. It's the family here. It's, it's not a big, big conglomerate. It's a family. They treat you, you feel like you're in a family, you know. When you put those two together, an amazing product and amazing people, it's just the type of company you want to be involved with. Not only because of just the great boats, but because of the camaraderie that the Warrior family has. The customer service is amazing. Uh, they never leave you hanging. So come join the Warrior family. Hey, is that a perch? Wow. Yeah, that's a nice one. You gotta like that. Nice. Oh, there's one there. Good job, Phyllis. Uh oh. Not quite as big as your no. other one, but Pete's got one too. Hey, Phil, let me take that one off for you there. You know, I can't, we've got Helgermites, we have got wax worms, we have got grass shrimp, we've got night crawlers, we've got red worms, but right now the fish are biting best on minnows. And you know, Pete, this time of year, not many people use minnows. And why do you think that is? I think the biggest reason is that they're hard to keep alive, really. Well, um, the weather we're having is like 90 degrees this week, and typically you would not have minnows in your boat when it's this hot, but this aeration system sure keeps them 90% alive, I would say. And that is kind of nice, yes. too. You know, hey, when you look at the Magic Quiet Air Plus, it's kind of nice because it takes 1D battery, and that thing will last days. You guys are too far out before. Perfect fast, size. Fast action yes, here, there's yes. no doubt. And like I said, them fish are real thick across yep, the back. Yep. You know, again, I don't think there's too many people that don't love to catch perch. Right, right. And it's kind of a neat way to catch them. You know, we're using the cane poles, getting it away from the boat a little bit more. You got another one? Oh, oh, oh. Look at I'll take the, I'll take the perch from you. Get him in the live boat. Yep, game on, folks. The girls are laughing at your boots. The guy who won't change the diaper, he's the guy that I don't touch diapers. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep the boat clean. <laughs> you picking up skunk poop with your hands? It's not skunk poop, kids. Ooh, it is poop. Dinker. <laughs> he doesn't have his litter box in here. Stop picking up skunk poop with your hands. <laughs> I don't know why you get so wound up about that little stuff like that. Stinker, it's okay. Oh, here we go. I just put that willow spoon on, and I'm going to tell you something. I put a minnow on that willow spoon. I did something a little bit different. Pete was saying the other day when he was moving spot to spot, what he was doing actually is he was leaving the cane poles in and he was catching a lot of these fish 10 inches, 12 inches underneath the surface. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm gonna put something that's got a little bit more flash on and put my bobber up a lot higher and we'll allow that. Now that's a nice fish right there on the willow spoon. Oh, that's a good one. Put him. Oh, Pete, that is a nice one. Woohoo, you gotta love that one. That's got a little that girth plus, to it, a little yep, length. Yep, nice fish. Every time I think we should move, it seems like all of a sudden they start biting again. Here, you need to get the live ball. Here we go. It's a little bit better one. My side was kind of quiet there for a while. And uh, it's, you can definitely tell that these fish are coming in waves too. And that one's got it just absolutely choked down. Gotta love that. The old cane pole day today. <laughs> Stinker's having a little fun back there. Now he found the spot right back there by the motor that yeah. he's uh, laying there, actually behaving. No, no, he's not. He's working on putting the bimini top up. Hello. 
Hey, I'll tell you what, Pete, you know what an incredible morning we had. We ended up keeping in our boat 44 perch, and that is plenty between yes. the three of us yes. for sure. And hey, Randy and Zoop, you guys weren't in through too bad either. But what I'm trying to figure out what happened, why you guys went flying in before. Oh, yeah, Zuki will have to explain that. <laughs> I, got, I got stung by three bees. I, I got really ornery. You got ornery? Oh, I think I the bees were a little bit ornery. Yeah. Are you allergic to bees? No. Okay. They love me, though. I guess you like getting stung it. by bees? I don't mind. As long as I'm catching fish, they can sting <laughs> right. me all, all they want. Yeah, you okay. know, They don't phase me one bit. Right. Hey, Pete, I'll tell you what, you know what, obviously people are going to want to come out and experience some of the great bites that you've yep, got going yep. on. Let's tell everybody how they can do it. You can get a hold of me at 608-609-2707 or send me a message on Facebook under Pete Hub for Best Damn Bait. So you definitely want to give Pete a, a call. Hey, Randy, it's always a pleasure and thank all you guys too for joining thanks, us Pete. today. Hey, thanks for joining us and I'll tell you what, like I always say, remember, it's a great day to be alive and be proud to be an American.